Hello, and welcome to Learning Java 9, Databases and Multithreading in Java by James Cross. So I'm James Cross. I'm a certified AWS Solutions Architect. I've got more than 10 years experience of designing and implementing Java applications. And my current speciality is uh, designing and building serverless web services and big data applications. Uh, and I'm a director at Calibri, which is a, a consulting company that helps people solve these sorts of problems, particularly focusing on AWS solutions. So don't worry, you're in good hands. I've been working in this technical space for some time now, and I'm going to be your guide through Java 9 and learning how to use databases and multi-threading. So let's take a look at what we're going to learn in this course. First of all, an introduction to databases, what they are, why we need them, and how to use them, and perhaps most importantly, uh, a comparison of the different types of database available to you, notably relational and non-relational. Next, we're going to look at how we can use something called an object relational mapper, a technology called Hibernate, to persist and retrieve Java objects from a database. Don't worry if you don't know what that means, everything will be explained. And lastly, and perhaps the, the meat of the course is concurrency in Java. So this is an enormous topic, something that can quite literally fill a book and has filled multiple books. But we're going to try and get through the hard stuff uh, with some very simple practical examples. And hopefully at the end of it, you'll come out with a good understanding of how to do the difficult part properly uh, and without too much difficulty. So just to call it out right from the beginning, uh, programming knowledge is assumed. I assume that you do have some basic high level programming experience, ideally in Java. Other than that, there aren't really any prerequisites for the course. Um, like I mentioned, some level of prior experience in a high level programming language really is essential. Uh, and obviously you'll need a computer as well. So hopefully by the end of this course, have a good understanding of these six points. Uh, firstly, understanding what a database is, the types available and why we need them. You'll have a good understanding of how to set up a relational database. We're going to use Postgres, but really anything is appropriate. Uh, we're going to use an object relational mapping layer to work with the database in Java 9. We need to understand the motivations behind multi-threaded programming. We want to learn how to avoid the common pitfalls of concurrency and multi-threaded programming. And finally, we're going to solve a large parallelizable problem using the fork join approach. So really in summary, this is your one-stop shop for databases and multi-threading in Java 9.